William, <laughs> this is all good news. Yeah, no, sorry. Um, Rose heard what I did, and she dumped me. You know, I fell for her the second I saw her in line for Space Mountain, company retreat in Orlando. I thought she was the love of my life. How could I have been so wrong? Listen, me and my wife, we were friends for years before we became a couple. We met when we were army surgeons together. So just to get this right, are you judging me for meeting Rose at a theme park or for believing in love at first sight? <laughs> Neither. Listen, even though it took us years to get together, I knew, I knew from the moment that I saw her, emerging from a surgical tent in 100 degrees heat, having just repaired an aortic dissection and saving a soldier's life, I knew that I wanted her in my life. And what took you so long? Well, I was, I was engaged and then I was married for a while and she was married. Our timing was just never quite right. But those relationships, they came and went and our friendship outlasted them all, even after she moved out of the country. And one day I, I just realized that she was the one person that I wanted to talk to at the end of a long day or a great day. When I was reading a book or watching a movie, I'd think, man, she would love this. You know, she just kept, she would constantly pop into my mind until finally I just, I got on that plane to Germany and I, I just told her. So if you feel that way about Rose, if you know you want her in your life, you should just try again. Yeah. I don't think Rose is it. Excuse me. I, I gotta be somewhere. Mm -hmm. And I didn't mail myself in a box, but she's not it. Thank you for that story.